discover drug that fixes cavities and regrows teeth. When we have an aching mouth or some pain in our teeth, the first thing that pops into our head is, I have a cavity. This generally leaves you with two options. Hope the cavity goes away and fixes itself, or go to the dentist. Most people hate option two, but is there a way to avoid going to the dentist? Stay tuned to find out. But before we begin this video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more daily tips like this, and turn on notifications so you never miss our new videos. All right, so how do we go about avoiding the dentist? Well, the good news is that there is a possibility that the use of dental fillings may be left in the dust sooner rather than later. A new discovery has been made about a drug that was essentially developed for Alzheimer's patients. It may be replacing dental fillings. The drug, called Tideglucib, which was developed and trialed to treat Alzheimer's, has also shown to provide oral effects as well. What kind of effects? Keep watching to find out. The effects that Tideglucib has on the mouth is the ability to promote natural tooth regrowth mechanism which allows the tooth to repair a cavity, researchers say. How does it work? Well, it stimulates stem cells in the pulp of the teeth, which is the main source of new dentin. In simple terms, dentin is the mineralized substance that is beneath the enamel, which gets eaten away by tooth decay. Teeth do have the ability to regenerate dentin that is lost on their own, but only in certain circumstances. In order for this to happen, the pulp must be exposed through infection or trauma in order to manufacture dentin. Even if this happens, the tooth can only regrow a very thin layer. This thin layer is not nearly enough to repair a cavity and allow the tooth to regrow. This is where Tyglucib comes in. It turns off the GSK3 enzyme, which is directly responsible for stopping dentin from forming. To test this product, the team inserted small biodegradable sponges that were made of collagen soaked in Tyglucib into cavities. The sponges triggered significant dentin growth. Within six weeks, the damage was completely repaired. The collagen sponges structure of the sponges melted away and left the tooth completely healthy and intact. As of right now, this procedure has only been tested on mouse teeth though scientists are remaining positive that the drug will be in dental practices because it's already been tested for Alzheimer's. Paul Sharp, a professor at the London Dental Institute, believes that this product is an ideal fit for the clinical and dental industry. He says that, the simplicity of our approach makes it ideal as a clinical dental product for the natural treatment of large cavities by providing both pulp protection and restoring dentin. Even though there's a good promise with Triglucid, this doesn't mean that people can stop taking care of their teeth. Why don't we go through some tips for good oral hygiene? Number one, proper brushing. This may seem like an obvious tip, but you'd be surprised how many people do not brush their teeth with proper technique. Position the brush at a 45 degree angle near the gum line. The gum line and the tooth surface should be in contact with the bristles. To clean the outer surface, use an up and down motion and side to side. Do the same technique to clean the inner surface. Number two, flossing. We know it can seem like a chore, especially since you just brushed your teeth, but it can help remove any food particles that were missed with your toothbrush. It allows you to reach deep between your teeth where the bristles from the toothbrush cannot and remove what mouthwash cannot. Number three, don't smoke. You can kill two birds with one stone if you avoid this habit. Firstly, you will avoid getting oral cancer and other complications. Secondly, it will prevent you from using agents that help mask the smell of tobacco, like gum and other flavored candies. Number four, limit your soda, coffee, and alcohol consumption. Each of these beverages has a high consumption of phosphorus, which is a healthy mineral for a healthy mouth. However, too much phosphorus can deplete your body's level of calcium. This causes dental hygiene problems, such as tooth decay and gum disease. Try sticking to beverages like milk, 
which strengthens your teeth. Number five, go to the dentist. We know that visiting the dentist is not anyone's top priority, nor is it anyone's favorite place to be, but it's recommended that you see your dentist at least twice a year for hygiene treatments and x-rays. This will prevent any further dental issues from occurring. Number six, clean your tongue. Many people forget this technique, but your tongue carries tons of bacteria. Cleaning it every day using a professional cleaner will remove countless bacteria. Bacteria on your tongue contribute to bad breath and negatively affects your dental health. Number seven, protect your teeth. This one doesn't really have much to do with teeth cleaning, but it is still very important for dental health. Protecting your teeth in the everyday world is as important as protecting them from cavities. For example, if you play sports, then you should always wear a mouth guard. Don't do dangerous stunts that could end in you chipping a tooth. Should seem pretty obvious, but we just wanted to make sure that you've got it in your head. Safety and diligence are the two most important things when it comes to having healthy teeth. Number eight, save knocked out teeth. So say you completely disregarded our last helpful dental health tip and played tackle football with Ray Lewis, sans mouth guard. He sacks you and boom, there goes your tooth. Don't panic, it can still be saved. Better Health recommends that you keep the tooth in place and seek immediate help from a dental health professional. If that's impossible, put the tooth in milk or wrap it in plastic, then go to the dentist. Number nine, avoid chewing non-food. Here we're straying once again from teeth cleaning, but this point is important nevertheless. If it isn't supposed to be edible, there's a good chance you're not supposed to be putting it in your mouth. Don't use your teeth to crack nuts. Don't use them to open packaging, and especially don't use them to open bottles. Oh, that last one makes me cringe. Number 10, choose and change your brush. Two important aspects of teeth cleaning are your choice of brush and how often you change that brush. For starters, the people at Colgate say you should always choose a brush that can reach the tiny crevices in your teeth. So look for one with small bristles. As for changing your toothbrush, Colgate also recommends that you should change your brush every couple months, every three to four to be exact. Number 11, electric toothbrushes. If you can afford it, there's no better friend to healthy teeth than an electric toothbrush. The dental health experts at Everyday Health report that the rotational movement of the electric toothbrush's bristles remove plaque better than your run-of-the-mill cavity-crushing cleaner. So if you're able to, make the switch today. Number 12, drink water. Mayo Clinic recommends that you drink around 11.5 cups to 15.5 cups of water per day. This is usually to promote drinking water over unhealthy beverages. But did you know that water is good for maintaining healthy teeth as well? Apparently, drinking water is great for your oral health, especially if you drink it after a meal. Consuming the clear liquid after dinner will help wash out some bad effects that come with eating sticky or acidic foods. Number 13, eat crunchy fruits and vegetables. What can you pair with your water to make a meal that will improve your overall dental health? Maybe try some crunchy foods, especially fruits and veggies. Not only does crunchy produce give the body more fiber, it also gets those jaws working. So if you find yourself with a weak jaw and a lot of cavities, for your next meal, maybe try water and an apple. Number 14, don't rinse off. While for some of us, it might be tempting to rinse the toothpaste off our teeth after a good brush, HuffPost recommends avoiding that habit. The toothpaste carries fluoride, which strengthens teeth, and the longer it's left on, the longer it can do its job. Don't fret, however. They don't suggest doing this during the day, just before going to bed. Just so, you know, you won't be swallowing toothpaste all day. Number 15, never too old. Say you don't like your smile because you have crooked teeth, but you don't know what to do about it. You should have gotten braces as a teenager, but you couldn't afford it, and now you're afraid you'll be stuck with these teeth the rest of your life. Don't fret, as you're never too old to get braces. In fact, the New York Times reported that in 2010, there were 1.1 million adults who got braces. It's normal to want a healthy smile. Who wouldn't? 
Number 16. Be aware of grinding. No, this didn't suddenly turn into a guide on how to survive the club. We're talking about grinding your teeth. Telltale signs of grinding are worn tooth enamel, increased tooth sensitivity, and torn cheeks. Should you experience these symptoms, visit a dentist as soon as possible. While they can't completely stop you from grinding your teeth, they can give you a mouth guard to protect them. Also, you can use it during your pickup games with Ray Lewis. And that's it. What did you think of our list? Did we miss any dental health tips that you may want to share? Let us know in the comment section below anything and everything about teeth cleaning. Enjoyed this video? Hit the like button and share with your friends. Also, subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Thanks for watching.